Hey there. Uh, today I want to talk about folders in the Marketo API. Um, this is kind of a concept that I struggled with early on because they're actually used in a couple of different ways and I just find them to be a little quirky. So I want to show you what I mean and, and how you can use them. So the first thing that I want to talk about is that um, there's actually two types of folders. Um, there is a, a folder folder, uh, which is JSONR right here, which is what you may expect but also programs are folders. So often in calls, you'll have to specify whether you want the, the folder ID or the program ID, which again, I'll show you here um, in a little bit. But then also, um, you know, the way that most assets work in Marketo is you can, you can click on the asset and you'll see what that ID is. So for this program, it's 2378. However, uh, folders don't work that way. So if I go back and I click on my JSONR folder, I'll see that here it's 4438, but that's not the actual ID. So if we would make an API call, you know, saying I want this folder 4438, it's going to get me a different folder uh, somewhere as long as another folder has that ID. But we can, uh, there is an API call we can use to uh, get the folder um, ID. So um, you'll see here that this is the, the JSONR folder. So that's what I want to use. So we'll go into Postman. I'll use the get folder by name endpoint. And here I just have the name JSON R and a type of folder. So I'm gonna click send. And we'll see that actually uh, the folder ID is 5181. So this is something that we can use now in our future calls anytime we wanna get something within this specific folder. So the next thing, uh, that I want to talk about is how the folder is used in uh, parameters. So we'll see that I'm going to use this get programs call because I want to get all the programs within that folder that we found out, which is 5181, and it is a folder. So in the get programs uh, call, we'll see that right here I have a filter type of folder ID and filter values of 5181, which is what we just found. And let me go up to the, uh, the developer docs here for a program. And when I go to the get programs, we'll see that the parameter here is filter type and that I can choose, I could choose program ID too if I was working with a program, but I'm using a folder. So I'm choosing folder ID. And then it says uh, requires the filter values, which is 5181. So that's why the call looks like this. We'll run that. And we'll see, I get all of those programs um, within the folder. But now let's look at one more uh, call, which uses that, that folder's parameter in a different way. So here we'll see, I wanna use the get smart campaigns. I have my normal max return and offset, but here, instead of having a filter type of folder ID and filter values, I'm actually using like a JSON um, a val key value pair of type and ID. And here my type is gonna be program and my value is 2375. So let's just go back here Here's my program. We'll see that that's 2375, so that's all good, and that this is actually a program uh, folder that, that we want to um, target. And here we'll see that, that the calls are just within here as well. So now when I go up here and I run this, so we have the folder equals type of program and then comma ID 2375. And if you're going to use this, make sure that you have type. Anything that's a string, you'll need to have in uh, quotes the the ID doesn't have to be because it's a number, but so uh, type in quotes, colon, program in quotes, comma, ID in quotes, colon, and then the number. So let's run that. And we'll see, I get all of the smart campaigns within this program folder. So again, uh, sometimes uh, it just kind of took some playing around to see exactly which um, parameter needs to be used. But if you go through the docs, it should be pretty helpful. So. Um, I hope this helps. Obviously, always let me know if you have questions or if I can make this any more clear.